I'm going as a wuss. Uh, <laughs> She's only uh, 17. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, we're going to dive into Winger, and why does Winger get so much hate? I did a video earlier, and I posted it, and then I got a message from, uh, saying that it, it was some, it was blocked. Somebody said I had copyright material, so, um, I'm probably going to have to pause it, and, and I really hate doing that, because the song is awesome. This is, uh, 17 by Winger. And uh, when Beavis and Butthead came out, while well, they were out for a while in the 80s, uh, they were doing some videos where in inside one of the shows, one of the neighbor kids had Winger on the shirt, and I guess they considered him a dork or whatever, but uh, I liked Winger. Winger was awesome. They had some good, really good, fun songs, and uh, I, I just don't know why they got so much hate. I mean, we all know grunge came along, and this song was kind of tort. They were a little bit late to the game, you know, later in the 80s, and then boom, here comes early 90s. Uh, here comes grunge rock, and uh, and then the 80s were gone. And and I I I do I do miss the the power of the music of the 80s. But let's dive in and let's see if we can uh, we can do this. <laughs> Right there, the power guitar. I miss the power guitar in the music today. Uh, I mean, they did claim it got oversaturated, I guess, with um, all the cookie cutter bands. But you know what? I didn't care. I was a sucker for a good, fun rock song. Uh, even metal. I mean, I I, I like the Queen's Rock, the Rush, the you know all of these other metal bands, Ozzy, Dio. You know, I was, just love that stuff. But I was a sucker for, you know, the good melody, pop rock metal song because it was just so much fun. And then they always had a flashy guitar player in it, and it was just, it was just a lot of fun. Let's hear that opening again. <laughs> really nice I mean they had a strong opening uh, the song it's it's really it's really powerful and again because of copyright guys I'm gonna have to stop this but we can analyze this let's let's do it I mean, even his attack, his singing, it's just good. I, I just don't understand the hate. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. I mean, even his vocals were good. I mean, it's not like he's singing opera like Jeff Tate in Queen's Reich, but I I liked his vocals. It was really good. I mean, the chorus, yeah, a little, a little, little spicy. <laughs> 17 but you know hey it, it's just it's just good fun 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 song Check this out. All right. I 
I mean, even there are transitions in between, you know, the the choruses and stuff. I mean, it is just a fun, a fun song. And, you know, there's more to Kip Winger than just an 80s pop rock bass pop star. Um, he's actually a composer. He has a, um, which I need to find that and I can put it in the description. He has his own channel, and he had Steve I on there. I just happened to stumble upon it uh, a while back, where he was interviewing Steve I, because Steve I is a, a composer too, not alone, just a, an amazing guitar player. <coughs> but um, and they were discussing, you know, different compositions and things that he's working on, and and things like that. So he's not just this pop '80s rock star with the with a hit song. I mean, he's way more way more in depth with with the, the the composing aspect of it you, you guys need to check that out <laughs> and this video was done um, live in 19. 19- 88, 89, New Year's Eve. So, some New Year's Eve party. Alright, here comes the guitar lead, which I just love. It's my one of my favorite parts. But, um... He's... There... They're not limp syncing. This is live. This is them. You know? I mean, we all know the limp syncing and things like that. This guy, they're, they're pulling this off. I mean, he's, he's nailing it. He's just nailing it. hear that again that was i just i miss the power lead i, I really really do i miss the the power lead And this break coming up is pretty awesome, too. I mean, even though it was a pop, a pop rock song, it had, it has some bite to it, you know? It has some energy to it. Now, that's not a bad bridge. I mean, come on. That's pretty, pretty sweet. Nice. That was a nice transition, you know. And the crowd's just loving it. I mean, even the lyrics are just fun. Just just a lot of fun. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, he's just this good-looking guy. I, you know, <clears throat> coming back to the hate. Why did they hate on him? I don't know. I don't know why they hated on him. I mean, he, look. <laughs> Women were probably throwing themselves at this guy. I mean, he sing. He can sing. He can play the bass. He's good-looking. The song is good. Why was the hate? I mean, I, I don't... I don't know. I mean, look at all 
these people dancing. I don't know if you could dance to this song, but they're dancing. I mean, he just sounds great. Now, keep in mind, this is back in 88, 89 at a New Year's Eve. Uh, I don't know where they were doing this at, though. I'm not sure. But here comes another little sweet little lead to, to finish this out. How could you not like that? It's awesome. All right, that was just that was just nice and wink. I love that. Well, let's get a little, little taste of that. That was just awesome. Very nice, very nice. That was oh yeah, I remember her from MTV. This must be MTV. Who is she? The comedian? I don't even know what her name was. Well, there you go. Um, that's Winger. I don't know why they got so much hate. I liked them a lot. Um, they were fun. Like I said, I was a sucker for a, an awesome melody, good lyrics, fun song, great power leads in it it just it just made it fun i mean i like a variety of uh rock metal type of music and i just i just enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed it and um i'll leave a a description of this video so you could go and watch the whole thing without being interrupted kind of thing because it is annoying and with the copyright issues you just get flagged and, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Loving me some winger today. And you guys have a great day and peace. Peace out.